the kids that race him don't like him. They want to beat him so bad. If you've got any, like, ego around, like, he's not working hard, he's just been given everything, they just went to start for money, like, I hope none of his competitors think like that because he's going to f***ing destroy those people that doubt him. Fighting for Monster Energy Star Racing Yamaha, number 238, Hey. in Indianapolis. Every race we go to has something unique about it. This one, the dirt is so soft. It's gonna be really ruddy. Nice triple crown. So we've got two bikes ready. Main goal is to stay on the, the A bike. But if anything happens with such fast paced racing tonight, we have the option to use a backup bike. So hopefully we don't need it. Hoping for a good night of racing. Bikes are good here in Indy. We got a roof over our head, so we don't have to battle the weather. We had track walk, checked everything out. And we're about to head down for free practice and really see how this dirt feels.
good to see in the final session, even when the track was at its worst, Hayden was still able to better his time. I know the speed is there in the rough conditions, but it's gonna get really bad during these races. The 450s are gonna tear him up. Everyone's gotta deal with it, so. I think Hayden has really progressed in his second year, and he can really handle these ruts and nasty track conditions. So, hoping for the best tonight. Oh, and he pulled a whole shot in that one, so it's nice to see the starts are on point. So, it's a big 14. Got my birthday cake, chocolate flavored. I think you like the tip, dude. I don't think you like the whole four. Um, what? Well, That's in the oh, yeah. Woo! Pretty! Yeah, let's Yay. sing, let's sing. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear husband. Happy birthday to you. See, this is life this on, life on the road. What happens? Yay. Brother races and well, in your motorhome, and it's super windy outside, and nobody's outside their motorhomes. And we're real quick doing the birthday cake. Oh, it turned them pure black. No, don't light another no, one. All it's the on fire. Dude, it's crazy how busy this race is. And, um, it's good. I mean, another indoor race, which is nice, and the track's pretty soft and ruddy. It's going to be another real technical race. So we'll see. Hopefully, Hayden. I mean, he had a good week of training finally this week. He's been dealing with a lot of injuries. We usually don't talk about it because it's not not something we want to really focus on. We want to focus on trying to get better. New weekend, new race, and another learning process. So hopefully he comes out with a good three-round triple crown. He's going to need good starts for a good result. So it should be a good night. I fumbled though. I was dude. like, Dax was moving too. I was like, damn, we might be up front here. I think we got two more. I'm, 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 I'm worried. I'm worried. Yeah, he's good. This looks like a new level up there. I mean, the intensity's up. Yeah. You're sitting on the couch talking crap on people. And then you get up there and they're like, dude, they're ready. Wait till you come race out here, dude. It ain't as easy as you think. Nope.
control. No, dig it down. Allen second, Hayden Deegan in third. Big round of applause for our podium in Indianapolis. Um, Hayden, I was curious if you knew that you were in third overall, um, but if you had passed your two teammates in that last race, uh, that you would have been moving up. Yeah, definitely. I did see it on my pit board. It said, pass the guys in front of you to get second. So I was like, trust me, I was charging. Crashed on the start, couldn't get the bike started, and then it was just a fight from there. And when you're pushing that hard, trying to catch guys like that, it, you make mistakes, which kind of costs you some time. So it was hard, you know, trying to push as hard as you could and make a little bit of a mistake here and there. You're just like kind of fighting it. But uh, yeah, I was just grateful to get up that far and still get a podium position after uh, cleaning myself out on the start. But there was a lot of wonder of how you were going to come in and take today on. Did you come in with a different mindset, something you have to prove? Did you want to be low key and just get through it? What was the day? Yeah, definitely. Uh, I seen a quote. It was like, uh, you're focusing too much on the future and what you want on the future. And uh, I had to, you know, settle back and realize, like, I'm living my dream right now. As a kid, I dreamed of racing Supercross, getting on podiums. I literally had a Cameron McAdoo jersey in my room on my wall. Uh, this is something a lot of people probably wouldn't know, but I had a Cameron McAdoo jersey on my wall when he rode for Honda. So, uh, yeah, it's a dream of mine to just be in this position in the first place, and I was just looking too far in the future, and it was catching up on me, and that's why you see, you know, some of the emotions come out. And also injuries, you know, a lot of, a lot of heart goes into this sport, and when stuff bites you like that, uh, the emotions get the best of you. But, you know, I'm, uh, I'm growing up, I'm learning, and uh, you just got to build. And Hudson just got uh, posted a Cameron McAfee jersey tonight from me. So both of the Deegan brothers have Cameron McAfee jerseys. I would dare to say that uh, Hayden doesn't have the Cameron McAfee jersey on his wall anymore. <laughs> so that's a wrap. Just got back from Indy. I think it's a good week. Got through. Ah, 
feel like sometimes you get a little greedy, you're like, oh, I felt like Hayden had that win, you know, he had the speed, but, and then he ended up crashing on the start, which, hey, it happens, you know, it was his fault, he clipped the tough block, so, live and learn, move on, and a uh, good thing is, I think he's got his speed back pretty close to where it was before he got hurt, um, it's all, like I said, part of the game, you just deal with the injuries, and keep working, and uh, we got a few weeks off, so he can go back to work, and we can go work on our stuff too. Actually, I have to go to our North Carolina work work on our house there and things I other things I enjoy doing. So I was laughing because here's quick fun facts. Indy Supercross 96, I got third. Daytona Supercross 96, I led the race, ended up fourth. Exact same as what Hayden did this year. LA Supercross, first Supercross win. Hayden's first Supercross, LA Supercross. What are the odds of that? That's pretty, like, I don't know, just some moto fun facts. I think it's cool. But been on this journey, dude, since 80, I think about 85. Been, I started racing dirt bikes back then and we're still in it. So yeah, crazy. Mm -hmm.